Good morning. My name is Pastor Giselle, and I'm going to share a quick nugget with you, and I'm going to call it monologue versus dialogue. We think God only wants monologue, but he is really looking for a dialogue because he knows all our troubles. He has all of those, but he also desires to conversate with us. I was sitting out here this morning, and I'm watching the geese. It's a family, but there's also one single geese that's a little distance from the rest, probably about 50 yards. And I just started watching it, and then I saw the father uh, try to attack the other one, and it flew off. This happened a couple of times. So it made me think about God, how he protects us. You know, we don't even know sometimes that he's protecting, protecting us. And I watched the baby geese. It was unbeknownst to them that their father was protecting them. We have such a good God. But, you know, he, he longs to talk to us. He has things he wants to share with us. Um, it, took quite a, it took a quiet place for me to have dialogue. God is not going to compete with social media. He's not going to compete with television, music, friends and family. He's a jealous God, and he will not share with anyone. It says in Deuteronomy 2, 24, For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. Your place to commune with God could be anywhere. It could be in the car, just like I am. Uh, it could be in the shower. It could be on a walk. It could just it just needs to be spending time with God and just Him alone, without anything else. Um, just like I said, this was a beautiful picture of the, our Father, how He protects us when we don't even know we're in danger. So. I believe situations are created for us to grow in our relationship with Christ. Going through these times leads us closer to him. So, Lord, I pray for us to have hearing ears and a heart that receives from you. Amen. Have a great day.